Hey girl, I haven't talked to you in a while. Sorry about that, Marissa. Um, this is just a note to say for tomorrow. I know your birthday is on the 4th of July because our holiday was just on Sunday and, and yesterday was actually a holiday because Canada Day is actually on the f on the 1st, July 1st and your holiday in the US is July 4th and it's actually also your birthday I remember you saying so this is just um, a little video to say happy birthday <laughs> um, I'm so silly and weird <laughs> But yeah, honey, happy birthday. You're 18 tomorrow. That is so good. Uh, what did I do when I was 18? Uh, it was 2003 and I... Um, oh, I went to see Uptown Girls when I was 18. <laughs> oh, that was a crazy year. <laughs> it's funny because... Um, knowing you has caused me to like kind of reflect on myself and what I did when I was your age. Yeah, when I was 18, which was like 2003, um, I went to see Uptown Girls. Um, my family, well, I was staying somewhere else at the time, and my mom called and said, uh, Rachel, uh, we're we're pick we booked the bus because here you here you um kind of there's um a thing called wheel trans that people with disabilities get around with in toronto they pick you up and take you wh where you register with them and they pick you up and take you to where you want to go so they so my parents said my mom said she called where i was and said Hey, uh, I booked the bus. We're we're um we're taking you to the movies, and I went with my sisters and my yeah my sisters and my family to go see Uptown Girls on my 18th birthday. Oh my gosh, uh, that seems so long ago. Um, some sisterly advice I can give you. Let's see. Um, brush your teeth every day, <laughs> recycle, and be nice to people. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, not, not about to be nice to people, but you are already a sweetheart, so, um, I don't need to tell you that. Um, okay. What have I learned that I can pass on to you? Let's see. Um... I just think, well, the things that I didn't know um, when I was your age was that sometimes life can be rough, and I was kind of like the people that says, oh no, life won't be rough for me, but when I turned to adulthood, I had a, um, when we sit down together, when you come uh, to Toronto eventually and we sit down together I'll, I'll tell you more about my childhood but it was kind of rough and when, when I was entering adulthood like you are um, tomorrow um, I was kind of unsure about a lot of things I was like what do I do and what I had just just graduated high school and not knowing what I was going to do and I always one thing I can, can give to you is let the Lord guide you sweetie it's so important and I'm sure your mom has told you this but he knows what plans he has for you he knows um, the guy you're going to marry he knows everything so just let him guide you and don't worry about about stupid stuff like uh, like other teenagers agree but just just let him guide you and be yourself and never be afraid to be yourself 
And if people do it, if people don't accept you for who you are, they, they're just not the kind of people you should be hanging around. Like, put yourself around godly um, people that can help you, that support you. Make sure all your friends are with you because of, of you. Not because of your voice, but, but because of your talent. I mean, fans are different things. Fans are with you because of your voice and what you do and whatever. But your friends I'm talking about. It's alright to have fans. And you will have tons of fans. Because you're a really good singer. <laughs> but fans and friends are totally different. So make sure your friends are not just music fans. Or, or with you because of what you can give them. But make sure they're there for you. Make sure they're in your corner. Um, because... To tell you the truth, hon, and I'm not speaking this into your life at all, um, your talent could go at any time, and if it were to go, you want to make sure that the people closest to you would love you. I'm not talking about your parents or your family, because they would love you anyway. Your parents, your brother and sister would love you anyway. But I'm talking about your friends. Um, Make sure that they're with you for you, not because of what you can give them, not because of, well, if you get famous, I'll get famous too, or whatever. Make sure they're just really genuine people that love you for you. Alright? Happy birthday again. I won't bother singing because I can't sing. Well, I can, but <laughs> not as good as you. I write songs, so... But that's a whole other story. Bye, Marissa. Love you. Happy birthday.